What would be the consequences of detonating an antimatter bomb on Earth? Did you know there is a type of matter that, if misused, could cause an unimaginable catastrophe? Brilliant scientists like Paul Dirac, who predicted the existence of antimatter in 1928, and Carl Anderson, who confirmed its existence in 1932, have opened the doors to a new understanding of the universe. But they've also unveiled a potentially devastating force. Imagine for a moment an explosion so powerful that it would obscure the sky with dust and soot, plunging the world into total darkness, devoid of sunlight. Temperatures would plummet, leading to a nuclear winter that could last for years. All life on the planet would be threatened by mass extinction, and the familiar landscape would be reduced to ruins. In this video, we'll explore the terrifying consequences of detonating an antimatter bomb on Earth. Brace yourself for a journey beyond science fiction, into a scenario that nobody would ever want to see become reality. What is antimatter? But what exactly is antimatter? Let's think of the universe as a giant game of opposites. You've probably heard about matter, right? Everything around us is made of matter. Chairs, cars, plants, even your own body. Matter consists of tiny particles called atoms, which are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now what happens if we invert these particles? Enter antimatter. It's like the twin sister of matter, but with an inverted signal. Here's how it works. Instead of protons, which have a positive charge, we have antiprotons, which have a negative charge. Instead of electrons, which have a negative charge, we have positrons, which have a positive charge. And surprisingly, the antineutron is similar to the neutron, but with some different properties. What happens when matter and antimatter meet? Imagine that matter and antimatter are like two superhero rivals who, when they meet, engage in an epic battle. Except, instead of a drawn-out fight, they simply vanish in a flash of light and energy. This process is called annihilation. All the mass of these particles is transformed into pure energy. Now, let's imagine scientists created an antimatter bomb. What would happen? The release of energy in an antimatter explosion would be immense. To give you an idea, one gram of antimatter, when annihilated with one gram of matter, would release about 43 megatons of TNT, an amount of energy more than twice that of the Tsar Bomba, the largest nuclear weapon ever tested. Such an explosion would result in devastation comparable to or even greater than cataclysmic natural events, like major asteroid impacts or supervolcanoes, capable of obliterating an entire city or even causing significant damage to a country. Besides the immediate physical destruction, the detonation of an antimatter bomb would have severe global implications. The resulting shockwave, combined with extreme heat and massive radiation release, could trigger widespread fires, drastically alter the climate, and cause significant atmospheric changes. Depending on the scale of the explosion, the effects could be felt across the entire planet, potentially inducing a nuclear winter, where soot and debris suspended in the atmosphere would block out sunlight, leading to a global drop in temperatures and endangering the survival of numerous life forms. The shockwave generated by this antimatter bomb would be unparalleled, capable of completely devastating the area around the explosion point. The wave would move at supersonic speeds, demolish buildings, infrastructure, and any form of life nearby, transforming the landscape into ruins in seconds. The energy released would be so extreme that even the most resilient structures would be obliterated, leaving a scene of total destruction within several kilometers. Beyond the local destruction, the shockwave caused by an antimatter explosion could trigger global scale effects. The immense energy release could provoke a series of earthquakes, especially in regions with geological faults, increasing seismic activity worldwide. These secondary earthquakes could, in turn, generate catastrophic tsunamis, threatening coastal communities across the globe. The waves generated by these tsunamis could reach far distances, causing damage far beyond the original explosion point. The global impact would not be limited to seismic activity and tsunamis. The atmospheric shockwave resulting from the detonation could temporarily alter air currents and climate on a large scale. High-speed winds and sudden changes in atmospheric pressure could cause violent storms and alter weather patterns in distant regions. The disturbance in the atmosphere could have lasting consequences, affecting aviation, satellite communications, and more. 
the detonation of an antimatter bomb would not only result in a devastating shockwave, but also release a colossal amount of gamma radiation, one of the most penetrating and dangerous types of radiation. Gamma radiation, produced by the annihilation of matter and antimatter, has extremely high energy, enabling it to easily penetrate dense materials. This radiation, when impacting living organisms, would cause irreversible damage to cell DNA, resulting in almost immediate deaths for those close to the explosion, and a significant increase in cancer cases and other serious diseases among exposed survivors. The effects of gamma radiation would not be limited to the immediate impact. Radioactive contamination would spread beyond the explosion area, contaminating soil, water, and air. This residual radiation would continue to pose a threat for extended periods, rendering large regions uninhabitable and adversely affecting the environment. Additionally, exposure to high levels of gamma radiation could compromise the safety of critical infrastructure, like nuclear power plants, increasing the risk of secondary disasters. In addition to gamma radiation, the antimatter explosion would also emit intense thermal radiation, generating heat at extreme levels. A curious fact, every second, our bodies emit a small amount of antimatter. This occurs because potassium-40, a naturally occurring radioactive isotope in our bodies, sometimes decays, releasing a positron, the antimatter counterpart of the electron. These positrons are quickly annihilated when they encounter electrons in the body, but during the brief period they exist, you could say your body is producing antimatter. Although the amount is tiny and harmless, it's fascinating to think that we have a bit of antimatter being generated within us all the time. Another interesting curiosity about antimatter is that, in theory, if you had a spaceship powered by antimatter, it would be incredibly efficient. For example, as previously mentioned, one gram of antimatter could generate approximately 43 megatons of energy. A small amount of antimatter could provide enough energy for long-distance space travel, something scientists and space engineers dream of achieving in the future. Imagine, with such technology, we could theoretically reach other stars in a relatively short time, opening the doors to interstellar exploration. Can you imagine the impact that an antimatter explosion would have on our planet? The risks of manipulating this form of matter are enormous, and an antimatter bomb would not just be a weapon, but a disaster on a global scale. Mass extinction, destruction of entire cities, and a world plunged into darkness are scenarios we hope to never witness. Let's leave these ideas in the realm of imagination, where they belong, and continue to explore the mysteries of the universe in a safe and responsible manner. Also, watch our video about what's hidden beneath the Amazon rainforest. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos, and leave your like. It helps us a lot to bring more interesting content to you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.